Hi everyone, welcome to Virtuous Unisys Kitchen. It's been a long time. Guys, today I'm back again in my new house. Guys, so you are welcome back to the kitchen. Guys, I want to show you how I bake tilapia in another method completely. The last one I baked, I used peanut butter. This one I'm going to bake. I'm not using any peanut butter. Okay, guys, I already have my, my tilapia washed. But guys, I'm not going to bake everything. I'm just going to marinate everything. Maybe I'm going to bake like two or three just to eat. But I'm going to take you through the process. I already prepped my vegetables, my onions, my sweet pepper. Okay. Then here yeah, I have some leaf onions, which they call spring onions. This is another kind of spring onions completely with a good flavor. Okay. And I have some mint leaf. Okay guys so we are going straight into the pots okay okay guys i'm putting in all my vegetables okay okay i have some avocado oil that i'm going to use I'm going to put as much as I can, okay? And I'm going to turn on the stove, okay? In this bowl, I have some seasoning. I have black pepper, white pepper, adebo seasoning, okay? You can use any seasonings of your choice. Okay. Okay, guys, let's take a look at it. Okay. Okay, guys so do you see what I achieved so I'm gonna turn off the stove now okay and allow it to cool down okay okay guys so these are my tilapia I'm gonna make some incision on them so that the seasoning we go inside of the fish, okay? So I'm going to do it on all of them, okay? Okay, guys. See them all? Okay. Okay guys, so I'm going to put them in my smoothie cup now, okay. I'm blending it now. Guys, it smells so good. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna get the rest of it from the pot. 
Okay, guys. See what I'm doing. Okay. So, you see this oil? You can use it to make your salad. You can use it to eat your Italian bread. Okay? The flavor in it is amazing. Okay, guys? So that's why I'm storing it now. Yes. You can toast your bread and just sprinkle it on the bread. Or you can use it to eat your salad. Okay, guys? Okay, guys. So I have these containers. So this is where I save it to eat bread and to make my salad. So I'm just going to store it in the fridge. The flavor is fantastic. Okay. Okay, guys. So I'm going to marinate the fish now, but I'm going to store it in this bowl. I'm not going to immediately put it in the freezer. I'm going to keep it in the fridge maybe a day or two before I transfer it into my Ziploc. Because the reason is when you finish marinating a fish or chicken, it's good to keep it first in the fridge. So that it can soak into the fish or the or the chicken, then before store it in the freezer. And the one I'm going to grill tomorrow, I'm going to add some Kenya pepper because I want it hot. So this is what I'm doing now. Okay. Hey guys so this three is the one I'm going to grill for now okay so I'm going to put some Kenya pepper because I want it hot the reason why I didn't put pepper in this one because there might be a day I want to give my dad some okay so now I'm putting my Kenya pepper because I want it hot okay the kind of pepper to my taste okay I'm going to store it in the fridge then tomorrow I'm going to do the grilling okay today is Saturday tomorrow is Sunday okay guys so far thank you for watching we'll continue tomorrow guys hey guys so we're about to bake the fish now Okay, down here I have some veggies, yellow squash, green squash, carrots, bell pepper, and some onions, salted already. Okay, and my grater, I'm going to put some butter because we don't want our fish to stick. Okay, guys, so this is the fish. Some people use oil. Some people use the palm, right, to spray it. But I decided to use some butter on the fish.
So that's how a fish will not stick on the grill, okay? So, this is our dinner tonight. Oh God, I can't wait. <laughs> smells so good okay so right now the the oven is preheated so i'm just going to put our chicken now into the oven okay okay guys so we're going to the oven now okay um it's already preheated. Okay. So. Okay. This is my first time to use my own wood. Okay, guys. This is 15 minutes. So we're going to flip them over. Well, I don't think I'm perfect, but I'm going to try it. Okay. So I'm going to use some of the the stock the marinade marinade that I left so that the fish will not be too dried. Okay, I use the boiled method. I like it because it will make your fish moist inside. Okay. So before I flip it, I'm just putting some of the marinade that I left. Are you coming by to eat the fish tonight? We're going to make some couscous. And some fried plantain. Okay, guys. Oh, Jesus, help me. Oh, my gosh. Okay, guys. We did it. Okay. Okay, so we got it. Okay, so there's a little bit more. I'm going to put my border again. Okay. Then I'm going to put it back into the oven for 15 minutes again. Okay. And you right guys let's check it again another 15 minutes gone okay so we're gonna use a fork just to make sure it's done inside okay so yes you see it's good So, I'm going to turn off my oven now. So, I'm just going to put the remaining sauce into the fish, okay? And turn the, the stove off whilst I cook the... the and my remaining border so 
so I'm going to turn off my oven now. Okay, so I'm just going to keep it there so that it won't get cold. Okay, make sure you turn it off. If not, you're going to make because the veggies are still a little bit hard. Okay, no, I don't want them too soggy. I want them like crunchy like okay guys so in this box I already have some boiled water which I'm gonna turn a little bit inside this box guys when you're cooking couscous allow your water to boil or warm like this so this is the couscous I'm going to use okay I'm not going to cook all because it's too much. Spoon it and begin to sprinkle it. You know my eyes are big, I always tell you. I measure with my eyes. Okay? Couscous doesn't take much water. Okay? Okay? Then I'm going to put a pinch of salt okay for taste then okay so I'm going to allow it to steam okay that's it that's our couscous okay guys the reason why I like to keep, most time, I like to keep some of my stew is for this reason. Now, sometimes if you want, you can do it like white rice and put the sauce on top, okay? But in this case, I'm going to mix the sauce with the couscous, okay? We we'll call it one pot. It's very fast to cook. You don't waste time. So that's why most time when I make my stew, I make big stew, plenty, okay, and store some in the fridge and in the freezer for rainy season. They say reserve make America strong. <laughs> so that's it. Okay guys, in this other pot, I'm going to fry our plantain, okay? It's party time, party time. Okay guys, the couscous is ready. Okay, did you see how it looks like? So delicious, okay? So now, this is the oil for the planting. So I'm just going to pour it into the oil now. Okay. Okay, guys. Dinner is ready. So the reason why I didn't put the veg, veggies by the fish, I don't want these veggies because it has water. To, to begin to soggy my fish. So now, anyone that wants to eat, we just come, break some of the fish, take a plate like this. This is the couscous with some um, cucumber and plantain and veggies. So anyone that wants, I can just come, take some, put, put, and munch. So, you can come by thanks for watching please subscribe like and share as you do you will be blessed and highly favored bye
come by and eat.